Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Another Fat Guy Cooks. I'm your fat guy, Andy Baker, and today we are still on a diet. So here's some fish and asparagus. Yay. Okay, so fish, asparagus, sounds boring as fuck. We're gonna try and make it as nice as possible, try and make it interesting, tasty, whatever. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make like a glaze for our fish. To do that, we're gonna need some garlic. Don't forget to always uh, palm heel strike your garlic. There's a guy called Josh who's the uh, main cook for Good Mythical Morning, another incredibly famous YouTube show that has millions and millions of followers, um, who I've stolen the palm heel strike technique off of. So cheers, Josh, if you ever watch this, which you won't because only the same hundred people watch it every week. I do appreciate you same hundred people though. You're my favorites. I've not done fresh garlic in a while because I've been being lazy, but I think because we're trying to obviously make bland food tasty, you want to get as much flavor in there as possible. So I kind of want to squirt it on, so I was hoping to get it in this thing. It kind of works, there we go. So we have garlic, we need some honey, and yes, honey is fattening, but we're not going to use much. And you know, when you glaze something, most of it tends to fuck off in the cooking process anyway. Some olive oil. Okay. We have garlic, we have honey, we have olive oil. And put a lid on here, to give that a good shake. Don't know if that'll end up being squeezable or not, but we'll see. Now I'm using, uh, what am I using? I'm using bassa, bassa, basa, whatever the fuck it's called. It's just basic white fish. You know, nice proteiny, but tastes like effectively nothing. So we get, we've got two of these fish fillets. We're gonna get our marinade-y, glazy stuff. And no, it's not gonna come out. I'm going to get as much garlic and honey and stuff on there as we can and I'm just going to rub this in. And then we're going to get some foil, get some asparagus, we're going to take off the, uh, the nubs, the tough bits, like so. We're going to stick them on our foil like that. And then the rest of this is going to go over our asparagus, add a little bit more olive oil, good pinch of salt, and some black pepper. And then we are going to wrap this up like so, into a nice little package. And then on here, on the bottom shelf, we're going to put our asparagus, and on the top shelf, we're going to put our fish. And we're going to do all of this in our beautiful Ninja Foodie. Look at that. Boom. So a lot of the fish shit will run down and get on the foil, but it doesn't matter because we're going to uh, take that off anyway, so. Okay. So we're going to put this on about 10 minutes on 200 we'll check it after 10 see how it is should be fine and we're ready to go you better not be that loud like forever calm down okay right while that's cooking we're going to make ourselves a little side of tartar sauce because fish, tartar sauce goes well and I kind of just want to make my own tartar sauce. So we're going to get a container, something to put it in. We're going to stick in some low fat mayo. That'll do. We don't want to make too much, maybe a bit more. Need some capers. Just finger those out. That'll do. 
Okay, so we've got our capers and we're just going to dice those up. I'm going to use the uh, Metzaluna that um, Susie bought me. Thank you, Susie. And see if this actually like helps chop these up smaller than the knife does. Yeah, that seems to work all right. Okay, so capers go in. You want a nice big pickle. Nice big pickle. I'm probably only going to use about half of that guy. Okay, pickle. Throw that in. You want some lemon juice. Like so. Make as much mess as humanly possible. A little bit of celery salt. And some black pepper. Oh! And also a decent sprinkle of dill. Should do it. And then we'll give it a mix. And give it a taste. Now this is better if you leave it for a couple of days in the fridge. But that's pretty fucking good as it is. This is looking good. Okay, so we're just going to take this out and check it. Fish looks beautiful. Mm, garlic's all browned on top. Looks really good. The main thing I want to check. Is that the asparagus has cooked through. I mean you don't want to cook asparagus too much but it should be steamed. Mmm beautiful. Oh my god. Right. Nice, healthy fish, asparagus, and tartar sauce. All right, let's give it a go. Bit of lemon. Mmm. The sweet, garlicky. I mean, it's really fucking good. Would it be better with a shitload of creamy sauce all over it or some cheese or just anything fattening? Of course it would be. Of fucking course it would be. Everything is better that way. But you know, this is, this is all right. Mm. Asparagus. Really tasty. The tartar sauce is amazing as well. Normalize making your own condiments. Because they are so much better. Well, there you go. Um, garlic and honey fish with garlic and honey asparagus and homemade tartar sauce. Not bad. Not bad for someone who's trying to dump some tonnage. Please check down in the description for the uh, full recipe. Uh, Ken, my aged retainer and wartime consulary, uh, writes the recipes out for me every week. I put them in the description, so thank you very much to him. Um, he also has a book out. There's a link down to check that out, The Pine Baron Stratagem. Please go buy it. Anyway, yeah, next week. Bye!
guy. Another fat guy could.